for early stage melanoma, the treatment is surgery, surgery, surgery. Uh, I'm not a surgeon, I'm a medical oncologist, but I agree 100% with my surgical colleagues that the chance to cut is the chance to cure. That's the cliche of the surgeons. And in early stage melanoma, stage one and stage two, they are absolutely correct. Surgery is the mainstay of treatment. Um, once the surgery is done in stage two melanoma, the stage that has the higher risk would still be at risk of this thing coming back. And we do clinical trials to test whether giving a further treatment, a medical treatment, a drug in the veins uh, will decrease the likelihood that subsequently that patient will have a return to their tumor or a relapse. So that's in stage one and stage two melanoma. Surgery is the mainstay and they may get adjuvant therapy. Now that adjuvant therapy is immunologic, it boosts the immune system, but that's just the way that adjuvant therapy is. That hasn't been marketed, that's being tested. Then you have stage three melanoma. Stage three almost, not always, but almost always can be surgically removed. So surgery is the mainstay. If the tumor breaks out of the capsule, the lymph node, and it's present under the arm, in the elbow, in the neck, we would actually use radiation. That is, we would have a beam of energized particles to zap that thing and it would kill the tumor pretty well. It uh, doesn't always kill it 100%, but it kills it enough so that the body's immune system can take over and get rid of it. That's stage three melanoma. After treatment, after surgery, we could have adjuvant therapy. The word adjuvant means added to. It has many meanings in the English language, but in the sense we use is added to. You could add treatment, and there are three different treatments that have been shown to be effective after surgery for stage three melanoma. Two of them are what we call checkpoint inhibitors, nivolumab and pembrolizumab, and one of them is a pair of targeted drugs called dabrapin and trametinib. And those drugs can be very effective. They can cut in half the risk of relapse, which is a big deal. In our business, anytime you do something that cuts in half your risk of dying or having damage, that's like, it's a big deal. Finally, when you get to metastatic melanoma stage four, the mainstays are either immunotherapy or targeted therapy. A lot of us think that going with immunotherapy first is the way to go, because by the numbers, the average survival of those who start with immune therapy is three years to five years, depending on the individual drug and the combination. Whereas with targeted therapy, it's never beyond three years. If anything, it's less. So in the frontline choice of treatments, meaning the choice of treatments for the very first time you're diagnosed with stage four melanoma, we think immunotherapy is the way to go. And that, interestingly, the immunotherapy doesn't directly kill anything. It indirectly unleashes the immune system to kill the tumor. And that's why we think uh, immunotherapy is the best way to go. Interestingly, there's an overlap in treating the stage three, the sort of middle stage melanoma, but there's no FDA-approved additional treatment for stage two intermediate risk or low-risk melanoma. So those are things being tested in clinical trials. Radiation can be used. It's particularly used for the brain. Stereotactic radiosurgery is a type of focused radiation beam that's commonly used to treat brain metastases. It works very well. Isolated metastases in a patient who can't have surgery, who's too old or fragile or as medical conditions can be very useful. But melanoma is a relatively radio insensitive tumor. That means it resists the radiation. So you have to give a lot of it or use other means. So radiation can be useful in melanoma, but certainly not as commonly as in many other types of treatments. And again, for us, the goal of treatment in almost all stages of disease, if it's the first treatment, is you go for a cure. As they say in the baseball analogy, you swing for the fences. So we will always be aggressive with melanoma. It's a nasty disease and you have to tackle it head on. But we will generally swing for the fences and go for the cure if it is at all possible. If someone's been through three lines of therapy and they're not feeling well, 
and they're up for a fourth line of therapy, I don't think we kid ourselves that we're going to cure that patient. I think there we have to admit to the fact that we probably will not be able to cure that patient and anything we do is palliative. But luckily in the first line of treatment, you're there to try to cure the patient. And I think that's critically important. Topical treatments can also be used, although they're much less common. Uh, Aldara is a immune activating cream that is used for early stage and in situ melanoma. It can actually work in other cancers too. Um, and you simply apply it to your forehead or your face or wherever it is, and it will turn your face bright red. It'll be scary. Um, and you'll begin to crust. But the Aldara can work very well to clear melanoma in situ. It is also clear that there are new direct injectables. There's a, a drug that's been approved called TVEC. And TVEC, which is an abbreviation for its real name, which I refuse to pronounce because it's too long and complicated, uh, is an engineered virus that you inject into tumors and it directly selectively destroys the tumor cells, not the surrounding cells where it can't get into. So it's very interesting. It's a very interesting concept. And as a result of that becoming approved by the FDA a couple of years back, there are at least five or six different trials of new drugs that are direct uh, injectables.